Hi everyone, in this video, I will show you why we need branch and how we can use branch in GitHub project. When you create a new project, you will see you are using master branch by default. If you will use master branch only, you don't have to know about branch. However, if you are working on any project, there's no project using master branch for development. Let's take a look why they don't use master branch for development. Let's suppose we are in the master branch has two Java file. If we draw a diagram, this is the, our situation. Our junior developer whose name is Dave is working on the master branch. Let's suppose Dave updated a .java file and pushed his update to master branch. And unfortunately, his update caused build failure in entire project. When the other developers pull the latest code from the master branch, they will face the build failure and they cannot start new task until the junior developer fix failure from his update. That said, working on master branch can hold entire developers for a long time. The junior developer will get many questions, for example, did you have a code review or did you at least check the build failure before pushing the code? This is not good situation. Actually, this can happen any developer if the project only used the master branch. This should be resolved by using git branching concept. Branching is creating my own project from current project. Because it is my own project, any push remove will not affect to other members in a team. Even if you push the code will cause compile error to your branch, because the other members are using other branches, it doesn't stop other developers. When you finish your task, you will eventually need to merge your own branch to main branch. Since the main branch is the branch will be released, you will need to merge your task at last. To merge your branch, you will send merge request. The most favorite part of merge request is the code review. If developer A requests the developer DB, the developer B should do the code review. The developer B will leave comments where the code should be changed and the developer A will update his change until developer B accepts the entire code. Once developer B accepts the code, the developer B will merge the code to main branch. Once merge is done, developer A should delete his own branch. By doing that, you can manage GitHub project very clean. The diagram you are seeing now is the one of the most beloved GitHub flow. Like you are seeing now, master branch is only for managing version. No developers are working on the master branch. Usually there is develop branch instead and uh, developers are creating their own feature branch from the development branch and merge their branch to the development branch with merge request. Once merge is done, they delete their feature branch. When releasing product, version the branch will be branched out from the development branch. The version branch will be merged to master branch with git tag for version management in the master branch. If only if there is need hotfix in the live release version, the hotfix branch can be branched out from the version branch and the hotfix can be merged to the version branch and the development branch both. Thank you for watching video. I hope this video helps you to understand git branching.